Stephanie Marco. Welcome to WGC and at that Tantra Life. Um, we're going to do number 12 of our series today, which is a very interesting series using the Kundalini version of boat pose. And seemingly it's a very simple exercise, but it's actually really moving a lot of energy and it moves us in a way that we don't normally move. So you're going to find this to be probably a bit challenging, but the good news is it's over pretty quickly and it's quite powerful. It's going to open up a lot of energetic um, areas of the body, allowing the prana to flow. It's a beautiful exercise to do. Uh, or to incorporate with your existing practice or with the other series in our 12 part in our 16 part series here so thank you for joining us today and if you like what you see please subscribe and uh, click like or make a comment below we love comments oh please come sitting in a comfortable position with the legs crossed and the sit bones tucked under you and firmly grounded onto the surface beneath you. We're gonna open our hearts. Shoulders are up and back. Eyes are closed. Chin is tucked slightly. Tongue is pressed to the upper palate. And the eyes are focused at the third eye point. And we're going to take a nice deep inhale into the belly and exhaling to release rubbing the palms together, get the energy flowing, bringing the thumbs to the sternum, chin tucked in. And with every Kundalini yoga class, we tune in with the mantra, Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. I bow to the teacher within me. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Inhaling to tune in and repeat three times. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Picturing a white light surrounding you and protecting you. Exhale, letting that white light expand. And coming into the unconscious mind, really dropping all thought and becoming aware of the self and your true essence, inviting it to be here with you now. This is number 12 of our series, 16 part series that we're doing for weight loss. And I'm really excited that you've made it this far. And this exercise is a continuation of the locust pose, which kind of extends into boat pose. Boat pose is slightly different in Kundalini Yoga. So don't get it confused with other forms of um, vinyasa techniques, uh, which have slightly different names. Uh, this is the kundalini version of boat pose and it looks like this you'll get on your belly the chin on the ground and the arms are straight up hugging the ears and the palms are together above the head and with the legs spread open we're going to raise the arms and legs as high as possible and just hold for a few seconds. 
Remembering to breathe. And then we're going to relax and do it again. And again. And relax. And again. And relax. And again. And relax. And let's go four more times, coming back to the position, pulling the arms and legs up as high as possible. Breathing. And relax with the legs together. Now this time bringing them up, legs are together. And relax. Now with the legs spread apart and up. And relax. And last time, taking a nice deep inhale, bringing ourselves up. And relax. And completely let go now. And gently move yourself into your seated position. If you've done a number of these exercises with us today, you've really opened up a lot of energy. And if you've only done one, that's a great start, but I encourage you to do a few and um, mix and match them and see what starts to work for you to really see the results of this weight loss. Uh, series that we've been doing. We have four more left, it's a, a total of 16, so please stay tuned. Um, and now we're going to just relax and end our session as we do with all, chanting a nice long Sat Nam, Truth is my identity. Bringing the hands into prayer pose, inhaling. So May truth be your identity.